welcome back to Let's Get Juicing Day 2 and um, I just wanted to say a warm welcome to those of you that have just received the guide. I know we're in day two so and a lot of you have delayed starting because you didn't receive the guide straight up so don't let that stop you from getting in and getting enthusiastic. Now obviously we've spoken about the two different styles that you can get involved. Now don't take that as a hard and fast rule, just try and do the best you can that suits your individual needs. For example, I'm planning to do full throttle, however I'm doing ease in just for the next couple of days while we've got a bit of upheaval around our family with um, my husband going back to Saudi Arabia today. So I just thought it was just easy for me to just get a juice in every day until he's out of here and we can get back into some kind of routine. So and that's just what works for me and my family at the moment. So do it your own way. Now I just want to go through the guide with you, obviously there's the welcome um, and we go into a little bit more detail in, as to how you can do this with either the ease in or the full throttle. So like I said I'm going to be doing the ease in, so that's one meal per day is going to be replaced with a smoothie or a juice, so yesterday I did a juice and today I'll probably do a smoothie and then probably in the next couple of days I'll um, ease into full throttle. So basically you just need to commit to your option and then join and participate. Obviously there's a typo there. This is what happens when you're putting together a guide really quickly. So um, obviously you're already in the group because you're watching this video. Um, and then use the recipes provided in, the, in this guide only as a guide. So you can come up with your own recipes and try to keep fresh and in season depending on where in the world you are. So if you are doing full throttle, the idea isn't to starve yourself, so make sure that you don't get shaky and that you're not feeling hungry. So if you do start to feel that way, just make sure you make yourself another juice or a smoothie. Now a lot of people are tending to select to use a blender over a juicer just because it's easier in the cleanup and that's fine. You can make smoothies or else you can actually make juices with a blender and you just strain them through a nut milk bag. Um, so you can blend up your produce maybe with a little bit of water and then you can just strain it through a nut milk bag and that will then give you your juice. So that's an easier way to blend and remove the fibre if that's the way you want to go. So I just wanted to talk to you about your big why because this is an activity that I wanted to focus on yesterday but it's something that if you've only just gotten the guide I want you to work through because really you can't, you can't it's, it's more difficult for you to see how far you've come at the end of these 30 days if you haven't actually documented why and where you've come from so and you know also will help you in the more difficult moments as to remind yourself what is actually pulling you forward to do this juice fast like what is it that you want to get out of it now it's really good if you can fill in these um, questions here your big why and how you're feeling right now what are you most looking forward to and then look back on these as you're moving forward throughout the juice fast or the juice feast and you start to feel a little bit challenged so really take some time with that now if you can print out these sheets and you can use words you can use descriptions you can use images it's all up to you but I think it's really important that you're feeling your big why and also revisit how you're feeling right now what are you most looking forward to and anything you're least looking forward to so that we can obviously work through that as we move forward also what changes are you hoping to see that says 31 days we're actually looking at 30 days but it will take a day and what are you going to help going to do to help yourself to move forward to your goals so I am just going to jump forward to the focus here September 2004 daily focus yesterday was the big why which obviously we're a day behind so if we can just cover that off today um, with your guide even if you don't print off the sheet just write down those questions that were in the guide and you might want to share them with the group you might want to keep them to yourself but that's completely up to you just make sure you do it so that you can have some some way to gauge when you are getting towards the end of the juice fast even weekly it's a really good thing to revisit so today I wanted to talk a little bit about detox and that's because for those of you that haven't done any kind of cleanse or detox before you will find that depending on what level of diet or health you're kind of coming from right now you will experience some level of detox even if you're the most healthiest person in the world you will still 
have a detox and that's the reason why we do something like this is to cleanse and detox because not only is food a pollutant but also the air we breathe the lives we live the lack of sleep we get there's all many different factors as to why our bodies become toxic so you will probably find over the next week there will be um, everyone will just will experience different levels of detoxing and it can be from anything from a headache or lethargy to crankiness to also you may get flu-like symptoms you may um, as I mentioned have headaches you also may have something that is a reoccurring issue pop back up again which may detract you from wanting to continue on with this and obviously I'm not a doctor so I can't diagnose as long as um, you know it's not a serious illness um, you know you're comfortable with with dealing with that then try and see if you can sit with it um, when I say recurring illnesses or injuries one of my clients that I worked with um, had a um, sprained ankle many years ago from a dance injury and it obviously healed but when she started detoxing the pain in her ankle started to return and I think some pain in her back which was, I think it took her about a week to get through that, but obviously it was a little bit detracting from the actual juice cleanse and it really wanted her to go back to her normal way of eating, but she sat with it. She did a little bit of rest and um, did some other forms of detox um, assistance, which was skin brushing. She also did some co uh, coffee enemas, which you can look those up online, and also drinking lots of water. So there are things that you can do. You can also have a, an Epsom salt bath. And if anyone else has any other comments or suggestions on other ways to help um, move the detox faster through your system, then pop them in the comments below. So I think that's enough for today. Um, I've covered off the big why and detox. If you've got any questions, comments, advice, anything you want to share with anyone, make sure you pop that in the comments down below. And I really hope you're going along really well. Make sure if you've got any recipes that you're coming across online or anything that you're doing yourself, make sure you share that with the group too because this is your group. Um, last time we've done this, we found that having other people to rely on in the group that was super active will actually help people, especially when you come across the more difficult days I also wanted to mention about detox usually day three is the big day for most people so if you started yesterday maybe tomorrow or Thursday you will start to feel especially if you're giving up things like coffee um, you know like I said if you're quite acidic you may find that you have a little bit of lethargy or headaches if you can try and see if you can rest those days I know everyone has to go to work so if you do have to um, go to work you might just want to um, stick to the ease in until you have the weekend to rest and recover so like I said, it's really flexible how you attempt to do this. It's just good that you're here and that you're aiming to at least have one juice or smoothie per day as a minimum to um, move you forward through September on this juice feast. I hope that's helped you today and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.